Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about a lot of new products that have recently been added into my collection. This is a haul, but it's also what I got for Christmas, as well as items I received in PR, and of course, the items that I hauled, I purchased. So it's just like a bunch of random new makeup that I wanted to talk about with you guys. So let's get into it. We have a lot of new makeup. I'm going to skip my intro and just... um. Just get into it. So let's start off with the products that I purchased for myself. So my Danessa Myricks order finally came in. I ordered three of her Twin Flames product. These are multi-chrome pigments. So I picked up three shades and if you don't know the backstory behind this because you weren't cool and you didn't come to my live, I've been waiting for these for a month. I never received a shipping notification but luckily they just showed up. Oh just kidding. I got four. Here's the fourth shade. Crazy for you. So let me just open them up and swatch them. Now, I did get a message from one of you guys and your message was really funny. Basically, she said, these felt like shrink wrap on her eyes. And I have not tried these. I'm wearing the new Kaleidos Newish. It's not new anymore, but one of the purple Kaleidos eyeshadow palettes, in case you're wondering, it will be linked in the description box. So I don't have that on my eyes. But first of all, look how it's stunning the packaging is. Now it's plastic, but they just look so cool. I like this better than the Natasha Denona packaging, but let me swatch these. And they look really, really good. So this is crazy for you. You can kind of see the shift there. Here is Soulmates, kind of like a green brown shift. Obsession, which is like a gold, blue, green, kind of similar to Scarab from Natasha. Of course, you're not getting the good shift. I had to get one of the deep ones. This is true love. It looks incredible. So all in all, I've heard some pretty mixed reviews about this product. I will definitely have to keep you guys updated. Like I said, I haven't tried this. I've tried very few items in this haul, but these did finally come. And it came with the cute stickers and stuff, so that made up for the horrible shipping process there. <laughs> okay, so I've got more makeup in between, but I've done videos on them, so I don't have anything else new to show you that I haven't already showed you. So let's get into PR, and a brand that I'm really excited about sent me a very nice package from Vesca. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of these items before, but I really wanted to bring some attention to this brand. Now, the brand is called Vesca, and and it's a Canadian brand. The bronzer itself is made in Italy. The rest of the products are made in Canada. And you guys, the bronzer range is incredible. I'm actually wearing the bronzer right now. This is Kissed by Santorini. And I really, really love it. I think it's going to be my favorites this month. It's a gorgeous bronzer. The brand is so inclusive. The range of colors that they have in blush and highlighter are amazing. Very, very intrigued by this brand. We also have this soft. Soft Sun Radiant Skin Primer and Luminizer. So this is a base. Have not tried this yet. It looks very interesting. We have two Moonlit Dreams Cream Shadows. So let me put them on. I haven't tried these yet either. Ooh, they look really pretty. So the top one is Lyra and then the bottom one is Vela. Haven't tried these yet, but they look like really gorgeous cream shadows. And then they also sent me three of their lip oils. I've only tried this color so far, Ginger Lily, which is a gorgeous sheer kind of warm rose shade. We also have Dahlia, which is a little bit more bright. You can see they are in oil, so they don't have so much pigmentation, which is fine. It's more like a lip gloss. And this shade right here is Hibiscus, which is really fun for the summer. But overall, I'm very, very interested in this brand. Their range looks really great and diverse. Even if you look on their Instagram, you can see how inclusive they are. And their products so far, I've been really impressed by. So I did want to shed some light on that brand. Pop Beauty also sent along a package. I don't want to swatch anything just because I haven't decided what I want to give away. But I've never tried one of their eyeshadow palettes. So this is the Light Show palette. Let me show you what at least what it looks like. I haven't tried Pop Beauty before. I have 
have a skincare product from them. It's a toner that was sent to me a while back. I haven't gotten the chance to use that, but I'm very curious about some of these products. So this is the Light Show palette. Ooh, I'm kind of very curious about that. I don't know if I want to try this quite yet or give it away, but that's awesome. We have this Plump Pout Volume Gloss, a Flash Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow in Crush Copper. Let me try this out. That looks really pretty and glittery. And then this is what I was most excited for. This is the Makeup Magnet Mist Setting Mist. <gasps> I'm not wearing a setting mist today, so let's try it out. It looks kind of like a pixie product. Oh, I was not expecting that. It has kind of like a, like a minty sensation. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, cool, cool. So thank you so much to Pop Beauty for sending that my way. I'm gonna pile these packages up back here. Hopefully I'm covering them. <laughs> so the next PR package we have is from Flower Beauty. Ooh, they sent a plethora of goodies. So I'm just gonna kinda, I don't even know. We got a lot. Very, very generous package. And I'm really excited that Flower Beauty sent these my way because I love Flower Beauty. They're one of my favorite drugstore brands. So they are now available at CVS. So we have some Light Illusion Concealer. So I have this already in my collection. I think I'm gonna throw the ones that I have away and get some fresh ones because the ones that I have, I believe are a couple years old by now. We have a Flower Beauty Blush Balm Color Drop and pinched. This is really, really gorgeous. I already have that one. We have the Warrior Princess Mascara. I tried this when it first came out. I think it was a decent mascara. I can't quite remember, but I'm not the best lash model just because I have like the worst, thinnest lashes ever. Ooh, I'm most excited about these. These have caught my eye in CVS. So they have some Petal Play eyeshadow quads. Look at these. I know my nails look atrocious. Don't pay attention to that, but look at these color stories neutral berry cool toned and this really really pretty light pink <gasps> i'm not a big drugstore eyeshadow fan you guys know i'm a snob when it comes to eyeshadows in particular love drugstore makeup not so much an eyeshadow drugstore fan my hands are a mess from swatches you guys we have some potential here they aren't the creamiest, but hopefully the colors really show up on the eyes because the color stories in here are stunning. We have a couple items from their CBD line. So we have these lip glazes, which are CBD infused. Don't know how I feel about that in makeup, but a couple pretty colors. We have a couple lipsticks and I love Flower Beauty lipsticks. I don't know if these are reformulated, repackaged, or this is just a whole different line of lipsticks, but how gorgeous is that color this is blush rose and then look at this color i'm really excited buttercup oof these are good colors, you guys. Also from the CBD line, it looks like we have this Chill Out Skin Serum. That looks really nice. I don't know, should I do a Flower Beauty video or a drugstore video, which would mostly be Flower Beauty? I'm excited about these two. These are Gel Crush Lip in Cheeks, Raspberry Crush, and Strawberry Crush. I don't know about these. I don't know, but we'll see. We have a Color Shifting Lip Smoothie. I don't know if I believe in those. The Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray because I need another setting spray, but cool. <laughs> and then we have the Supernova Celestial Priming Whip. So this is kind of like that Kaja primer where it's a mousse. Anyway, such a generous package from Flower Beauty. Thank you so much. Never in a million years did I think brands that I actually use would send me things. I have a package from Maybelline. So they sent over their Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. This looks really cool. I have a huge backup of mascaras that I need to use though, so I don't know that I'm gonna use this right away. But excited to try out their new mascara. And they also sent along random, but <laughs> a cute little Maybelline kind of loose crop top. 
I don't know. Thank you, Maybelline. And then I got a kind package a couple weeks ago from Tower 28. I normally don't show you guys my PR packages, but I just kind of wanted to share the new makeup. So they sent along their Bronzino bronzers. I have the shade West Coast, which I think is a bit too light. So I'm excited to try Best Coast. I think Britt likes both shades, Britt Clark. So I'm going to try that. And then also they have these Kumi gummies. So these are like vitamins. Cool, cool. Thank you so much to Tower 28. Let's get into gifts. Now this, it's not a Christmas gift, but I do want to tell you guys a little bit of a story because you guys are the reason that I received this. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video where I told you guys that the Fire Rose Quad was available at the, basically the flagship Charlotte Tilbury store in Los Angeles. It's at the Grove, if you're familiar with the area. And so many of you guys said that I sent you. So their store manager emailed me and was like, thank you so much for sending clients our way. I would love to send you a gift so it's because of you guys that I received this gift so thank you so much to Winnie so kind you guys so unbelievably grateful you guys have no idea so I wanted to show you what was in the gift because it's you you guys are the reason that they were so kind to reach out to me and seriously when you put your favorite influencers name out there if you email a company and you're like hey Morgan Turner sent me or not just me anybody it makes a big difference so I'm keeping this forever <laughs> this is a Charlotte Tilbury Los Angeles little canvas tote I love it I'm so excited about it and then we got a box a box of goodies, you guys. So because I'm a Charlotte Tilbury addict, you guys know I, I already have a lot of her stuff, but there's some stuff that I've never tried in here. So sorry, you guys, my mom's gonna get first dibs on the items that I do have, which are from the holiday collection. If she doesn't want them, they will go in a giveaway. But we have the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize, which let me show you mine. This is what this looks like. It's a stunning, stunning palette and I I can't go run for this one, but the palette of pops that came out this year, that's really stunning. I'll post a picture because I don't want to open this. Also came in this. And then here are the items that I'm keeping for myself. So she asked me if there was anything that I didn't have that I wanted, and I wanted the Walk of Shame quad. It's renamed to Walk of No Shame, but I guess I have just the regular Walk of Shame, but they're the same. So this is a quad that I just didn't have, so I wanted to add it to my collection. Really gorgeous copper tones. Is it the most original color story? Eh, probably not, but it looks really, really stunning. Let me just swatch this one. Like, making a mess with swatches everywhere, but really, really pretty. Excited to try that one out. And I cannot believe I haven't tried this. So I am so excited for this, you guys. This is something that I've always wanted, but couldn't justify purchasing because obviously I have all these colors, but this is this Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette. I am so stoked to have this just as a base for all of my other Charlotte Tilbury palettes. And then we also have a Glowgasm Beauty Light One. I've tried this before. I stole in my mom's. I'm so happy. This is another one that I asked for. This is the Pink Gasm. I was supposed to receive this when I did a sponsorship with Sephora and then they never sent it in and I was like, okay, no big deal. And I've added to this to my cart so many times, but I could never justify it because my mom owned it and I would just borrow it. But I wanted one of my own. So, so happy to have that. And then the last item was just a cute little Charlotte Tilbury makeup bag and I love it. So thank you so much to Winnie for sending this my way. I am beyond excited and just incredibly grateful not only to the store manager but to you guys as well. So I actually got this Christmas Eve. So this like made my day. This was the best gift I'd received all day. Last items are some Christmas items that I thought I would share with you guys that I thought maybe you'd be interested in. I'm at the point where nobody can buy makeup from me because I buy everything I want. Nobody knows exactly what I want, but I gave a couple palettes that I wanted. The first one, and I told you guys Jose was gonna get this for me. This is the Juvia's Place Wahalit 
to palette and I sent him the link there was like a two hour time period where this was 50% off so I was like here here's the link and I just sent him my affiliate link as well I did pick up the Wahala 2 palette it's so colorful I'm really excited this is one that I couldn't purchase myself I just couldn't justify it it's a palette that I wanted somebody else to buy it for me and same thing goes for the Scott Barnes Glamazon palette I'm so excited I know y'all I be coming for Scott Barnes life but I told my mom to get this while it was on a good sale it's a stunning palette he has good formulas and I just really like how cool toned and beautiful this is. So I'm really, really excited to try this one out. I have made it my mission to get better at trying palettes out and just 2021 is gonna be the year of eyeshadow palettes for me. I plan on trying out a lot of different eyeshadow palettes every day, doing different looks and really dedicating a lot of my channel to eyeshadow palettes. So I'm excited to have this one. That is it for makeup. I have a couple kind of beauty pretty things that I thought you guys would be interested in. I don't know. Um, <laughs> my mom got me a handheld fan, which I'm really excited about because I need it to dry my lashes and to dry my setting spray. I can't believe I don't have one of these and it has different settings. You can charge it on your phone. Whew. So nice. And then, so I'm excited about that. That was something that I asked for. I thought I'd share this because this is really cute. I don't know if it's still available. One thing about me, you guys, I love Kate Spade. I love the aesthetic of Kate Spade. I love their purses. I just, I'm obsessed with Kate Spade. And my cousin Ashley actually got me this purse and I am in love with it. It is so me. So it's black and white polka dot and it has a chain handle or you can have this black one but i think i'm going to unclip that i will see if i can find this online and link you guys to it because it is adorable if you wear solid colors this is i i don't even know what, like how cute is this just to kind of spice up the outfit add some interest i love it by the way my grandma got me this shirt for christmas too and <laughs> It's so funny because I try to dress up for my videos, not just wear t-shirts and sweatshirts, but Monday through Friday, these are the kind of clothes that I wear because of my job. I use my videos as an excuse to actually use my real wardrobe of like nice clothes. But on the daily, you guys, I do wear athletic sweatshirts because it's my job. That's part of my uniform and this is so cute. I believe she got this at Ross, but... Anyways, that is it you guys. Those are all of the new makeup products recently added to my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A huge thank you to everybody who sent me these as either gifts or PR packages. And the biggest thank you to you guys because nobody besides my family would give me gifts <laughs> if it wasn't for you guys. Uh, let me know what products you are interested in seeing me try out. And stay tuned for my channel 2021. I got some plans for us. Alright guys, if you aren't subscribed to my channel already i would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one